and there'd be more invasions as the administration failed to reverse the club's decline. Though they've fallen a long way, Ike's fans remain as passionate as ever for the Yellow Blacks. There were lots of mistakes made both by individuals and by the club's system. It's not my job to judge though. There's an official process for that and it'll find out exactly what happened. The fans of Ike deserve to learn the truth about events at the club and how it ended up in its current predicament. Two points from their final three matches confirm relegation from the Super League. In the summer, with debts rising, Ike underwent a massive restructuring. A new owner took over. The club declared bankruptcy, which meant a further relegation. One of the country's best-known names now plays in the third tier. Effectively, they're now an amateur club. It's a novel experience for me as a coach and for the players. We'll have to adapt to compete in this division and it won't be easy. The biggest challenge will be to get the players to adapt mentally. They have to realise that it's still a strong league and we have to take it seriously. To ensure costs are kept down, the team is made up of talented youngsters mixed with a few experienced older heads. One of these is Nikolaos Georgias, the team's captain. The 36-year-old spent over a decade at the club before leaving in 2012. The fall of Ike from the Super League to the C League was a big shock for me, even though I wasn't playing for the club at the time. But from the way it happened, I think the club had reached the point of no return, and I believe in the long term, this fall from grace will turn out to be good for the club. I can take him on illness. Ike won't solely use players from Greece. This was never our goal. Sure, the truth is that we want to have more Greek players, to have a solid Greek base from which we can grow. But of course, we'll be looking for non-Greek players of a high standard. We want players who can help Ike get out of its current situation and return it to the Super League. The plan now is for Ike to go back to its roots. They've made a good start to life at the new level, on the pitch at least, with an undefeated start to the campaign. Behind the scenes, the club is working on plans to move out of the Olympic Stadium and redevelop the site of their original ground. It may be early days, but the intention is clear. Greek football is all the poorer without a strong Ike Athens, and there are plenty of people who are determined to ensure that the double-headed eagle will soar once again. Our aim in the next two years is to grow as fast as possible. We want to win promotion to the B League, and after that we want to move back up to the Super League. These are our goals. We know it won't be easy, and there'll be a lot of obstacles, but everyone at the club is fighting for Ike. They're giving it their all to play and win for Ike.